Hello, hello, my friend. Very good morning. This is Jeanette filming from the city of San Antonio, Texas. I welcome all of you, wishing you the best uh, in every aspect of your life. Um, I'm here today because I have so much to share with you. We're going to be with a full table of luxury product. I am a professional makeup artist. I I am a stationary here in San Antonio, Texas, and the purpose of this channel is this educational, informative, um, all about luxury products. All of my videos are filmed 4K, using 70% of natural light and 30% of artificial light for you to have a better idea you know, in combination of both light, considering um, that we're going back and forth indoors, outdoors. Subscribe to my channel. My channel doesn't have sponsors. We can begin this makeup tutorial without our fragrance of the day. And for the purpose, I'm going to be using Tone 4. I'm going to start with Black Orchid from tone four, okay? So, let me tell you, some people have been asking, what are you wearing? Why you smell so good? And I said, oh, because it's my tone four. <laughs> this is one of those fragrance friends. You apply it in a little bit, and the essence stay all day long. The tutorial for today, and I want to show first the product I'm going to proceed and use. I will choose to use the sublimage. It's called, to give you the exact name, the sublimage Le Concentré Lumière from Chanel. The very first one on the picture was my precious Charlotte Tilbury. And I think uh, since then, all of the companies, you know, are being kind of copying her, you know, because nobody can beat the quality and how this product performance you know even though you don't want to do a makeup this product is just standing on your face this one is more metallic with a more metallic finish I've been talking many many times about my Charlotte Tilbury had a tint as you can observe Many people was confusing this product as a foundation. When you diffuse this product, the light reflection, the luminosity, and earth brush finish blurring imperfections is just stunning, friends. Let us say you don't want to use makeup. You apply this all over your face and it gives you a healthy, natural, and youthful look and finish. So I'm going to make a little comparison with my channel, Subly Match, and I'm going to apply the product a slightly bit up, up here. As you can observe, this is more like a pink finish is more natural definitely your skin feel completely moist same thing than this produce but this is completely set already and this is just imperceptible so that the Chanel one blends and get absorbed in your skin friends literally in mirror. So I'm going to apply this on the high points of my face, center, bridge and I love using my fingers friends and what I can see on this product, friends, that have shimmer 
particles. A current second is glitter. It's not glitter, but had reflective gold particles. Let us see how this is going to perform through the process of the makeup look. So my friends, look what I got on the make. After two weeks waiting for my product, it was a pre-order, Christian Louboutin. It's a taint fetish fluid, sublimating fluid foundation. Um, I got the 30 Neutral Cool Sahara Nude. For reasons, friends, I was extremely confused to don't lie to you. I was extremely, extremely confused with the information on the website, okay? Um, it's a product that was made in Italy, so I'm going to apply a tiny little bit on this part of my hand. I was terrified when I got the shade because I thought and I'm thinking that it is really dark for my complexion, okay? So this area of my arm is very pale. So it's different, it's slightly a little bit different to what it is on my face. So why I got the Teddy Neutral? Having as a reference, this is the compact that they launched before. Christian Labutton. So this is the 30 neutral cool. Okay, I'm going to provide a little swatch. I got two shades on this one. It is compact. It is a trim of a foundation, my loves. So this is how this one look. See, it's slightly bit more subtle than the fluid, this one. And I got a second shade on the compact taint fetish level me, the 20 nude, dune nude. This is the 30 neutral cool and this is the 20 nude or neutral. Okay, I hope that you can observe the difference. This one blend a lot more like my skin like. I hope it is not really dark the shade I pick. My beautiful friends, I won't lie to you that I'm slightly bit scared about the shade, but I'm prepared with my adjuster from uh, Copenhagen, Gash Copenhagen, in case the shade is extremely um, dark, I can apply one drop of this product and it will adjust the shade, okay? But I hope it's, it's not Consistency is completely, completely cream. I'm a G brush, okay? I'm going just to deposit a slightly bit of this product on the brush and I'm going to start diffusing it from the center. <clears throat> This is a finish on one side. 
this is with nothing and this is with a shade friends the texture it feel like skin like okay it is slightly bit matte but have a pleasant pleasant feeling of moist on the face okay is for example if i had to compare this formulation with girlan okay that one is actually more powdery and more matte on my skin I was terrified and the shade was going to be really dark on my skin and if you have to compare for example my neck because I am a true light okay but let us wait a few seconds until the product actually set on my skin you think that this shade probably might work stunningly for summer when I am more tan, I'm not disliking it, but definitely you can see a slightly difference, you know, with my neck. The formulation is super soft, it is in between like a mat with a super soft glow. Yeah, the product gave me like a, that kind of a tanning um, finish effect. Probably if I pick a lightest shade, you know, it works much better on the skin. Um, but again, I'm not disliking it. So, for my concealer YSL, it is called Touche Clad High Cover Radiant Concealer. Let, let me start with the shade 1. It is a retractable pen. This formulation is extremely beautiful, friends. It's so creamy, it's so moisturizing. They definitely produce beautiful product. They had a tiny little bit I can see of rosy undertone. And the reason of that is because my dark circle, my friends, are kind of bluish purplish. Okay. So now using the shade zero, which is the che eclat. As you can observe over there, also have a slightly bit of pink undertone, okay? So if you have problems with dark circles, my friend, and you doesn't know, you know, how to correct them, or you are being unable to find the proper product for you, try and use two different shades on your concealer. One with cool undertone, with pink undertone and the regular than you normally apply, okay? Since I have a little loss of volume there, I really love putting some enhancer product then can feel that little dentation. You know, as we age, we're going to present those problems. You see, I turn a little bit. And um, coming back to the formulation from Christian Louboutin. If you have dry skin, my friends, I would love to encourage to moisturize your skin very well. The product is not forming patches under any circumstances. The product didn't oxidize. It is giving a beautiful, naturally 
finish, glow, nothing exaggerated, but very, very kind, okay? Friends, the foundation is just stunning. I love the luminosity that the YSL product is providing to my eyes. You might think that the shade looks slightly bit uh, lighter on my eyes, but I love it. You know, can make up is all about preference, friends. What I use is to share a cloud high cover concealer using the shade one beautiful finish and using my touche clad red and touch from YSL again I did a little touch of light on the inner portion where the lines of expressions are and where I have little problems you know with lost of volume around my lips Hello, hello, my friends. I left uh, a prudent time for all of the product to set properly on my face. Okay, and highly recommended if you are the type of person my loves, then you love that kind of soft glow, not but nothing really much going on on your face. It is in between. In between because it's not completely matte but it's not completely glowy or dewy okay so it is on the edges leaving your skin with a beautiful beautiful moist my loves but it's not oily the color I know it, it is a slightly bit darker for my complexion I am a true light I did order the 30 neutral cool shade probably I'm going to be using more than anything this shade on summer okay. so I promise you if you are just tuning to my channel my friends today is going to be all about luxury and I'm going to apply my Christian Louboutin is the setting powder as well is the ivory 10 So this is Christian Louboutin is fetish powder. It's a compact powder, the 10 neutral ivory nude. So I'm going to proceed and apply a slightly bit of this beautiful product mainly on the area what I work with my concealer is a very kind powder I've been using it many times here on my channel so since we use the, the foundation what the better match and I'm going to introduce you. I'm going to be one more time since some people love the technique of using two different shades on the blushes, okay? I did this purchase from Valentino. It's not a new product, but for me, it is a new product. It is the number six. And it is Call Me Cura. If I can recommend a product with all of my heart, my friend, if you ever had a chance to invest on one of these products, it's the most beautiful finish you are going to find in a blush. This one is the 07 and the name is Orange Delight. Let us see what it's about. We're going to be showing both shades. Orange Delight. This one is a more cool tone. 
But it's beautiful, friend. Beautiful. Look at that. And this other one, even though they look kind of similar, but they are not similar. There, it is some difference. This one is those shades that have that kind of hybrid finish because have a little bit of peachy but rosy as well. They are both just stunning, friends. It, it is a powder balm gel form. I don't know if I can explain it better. To the touch, it is just beautiful. But for today's makeup, look my loves, we're going to be using Call Me Cora, which is the 06. But before that, I'm going to proceed and I'm going to be talking to you about my Charlotte Tilbury and we come again friends these are not new product but for me they are the shades are new I owned previously the 01 shade and we come to this formulation then it is a creamy kind of powdery formulation but I'm going to tell you something that probably you haven't heard about this Charlotte Tilbury bronzers and she's producing once this product set on your face friends it won't move so just for you to get an idea let me tell you the name first. It's a beautiful skin. Sunkiss Glow Bronzer, the Zero One Fair. All of her products are infused with natural ingredients. So my new investment, it is the Sunkiss Glow Bronzer and the two medium. This is brand new. And I'm going to proceed and do a hand swatch. It's a little bit more intense. And we're going to see what is the difference, okay? We come again to the formulation of the cream powdery. Look at this finish, friend, and look how the product melt. Even though you don't want to contour your face, you can just use this. Look at that. Look how this product blend, friends, with the brushes from Refair, Sonia G, and my latest purchase, Chikahudo F449, the powder brush. It was made with a silver fox hair and using the two medium. I hope it's not really dark, but I was dying to get another shade on this. You go just in circles. It's this gel cream formulation. And now it is the turn of Valentino. We're going to apply Colmicura. And we are going to make that transition. You know, when we are in winter, friends, we have the tendency to get extremely pale, okay? So applying a slightly bit of the product, we are going to be using two shades, okay? So we are going to start playing first with the, this stunning orangey shade. Okay, now I'm not applying the color really low since I want the concentration of this shade and just this portion of my face, okay? So this is the recent purchases I did from Valentino.com on these two new blushes, recent purchase is Charlotte Tilbury 
this stunning formulation from the gel cream bronzers friend airbrush finish this is the powder that was my initial purchase when i just started knowing about her this is a powder form and this is the cream form if you want to invest in a very good quality bronzers charlotte tilbury infused with natural extract as well so now friends I'm going to introduce you. I I don't know how many of you are familiar with it. it is a product that is manufactured here in the US. Ritual the file. I haven't seen this formula anywhere. Not a Ulta, not a Sephora. I invest in this beautiful, beautiful product frame, which is a blush, it's a cream form. It's called Inner Glow Cream Pigment Ritual Defy. So the shade I'm using today, it is Rapture. I'm going to emphasize, enhance a little bit. Look at this. Let us see how this blend. This is the very first time I love. I'm going to use this product. Wow, it's highly pigmented, super soft. Oh wow, look at that, friends. Let us use it. It is a very, very first time for me accessing to this product. Let me see how it's going to perform, okay? I did apply 10 a little bit using my refer 19 real life. Our skin is not just pink or yellow or orangey or beige or olive. We have different shade depending, you know, on our veins. Wow, friends, this is the first time using this product. And I can tell you, the formula melt, even though it's super, super creamy. Wow, this is completely new for me, this product. I have never used it before. It's my, my new investment. They are not really cheap. I paid $35, it's called Inner Glow Pigment, and the shade is Rapture. From now, I'm highly recommending this. Hello my friends, if you are just tuning to my channel, just to let you know that today the table is been full of luxury product okay I'm going to be listing every single of the product I'm being showing on this video today so you can have the information um, it is important for me because I, I don't want to forget to mention that I am a true light complexion I'm not fair I'm not fair light I'm a true light I'm not medium neither okay so my recent purchase, it is not a new product, but for me it is. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. Friends, I'm using Share One, which is fair. Is one of the red carpet product for the most of the makeup artist. Let me see. Let us use the My Kitco, okay? Because I want to see if this is going to mattify. I have never used this powder before. So I'm going to start by my forehead, okay? Okay. <sighs> Friends, it is like applying nothing. 
gives me a gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know, you can see this. It's like a natural finish. It is not mattifying my skin. So I just bought, I just invested in this product because I thought it was a beautiful powder to use and to have, you know, my collection. Get ready for what is coming. Fortify Iconic Smoke and there we are this palette friends was a recent lunch so I'm going to proceed and give you hand swatches of this product friends this it is the most desirable of his formulation because are the wet cream formulas. The shade is, is a perfect for a transition. I'm coming to the pigment. First time I'm doing this. This shade, friends, it is those kind of gunmetal shade. Oh my. Oh, this is the wet, dry wet formula, friends. The very lightest shade, since I am very light, is not really percep perceptible, but probably on my eye you are going to be able to see it much better. So now, continuing with the blue, it is a lot of discrepancy on this bottom shade, okay? But let me start on this blue. It's a very subtle shade, it's nothing crazy. I'm going to enhance that hand swatch. And this is what we have. I'm going for the third time. This is what we have. It's a beautiful deep blue, but have some purple in it. Nobody's been able to identify that shade very well, but it is a blue with a, somehow a kind of purple base. Very pretty. And now we're going, coming to this other shade that people all over the YouTube are being identified as a second blue and I will show you what is this this is nothing more and nothing less than a plum shade with a black base definitely this shade is plump, doesn't have nothing to do with blue, but it's a plump shade with a black base. Oh, wow. Look at this. So here is the fourth shade. The plum, the blue, very subtle, very satiny, both. This is a crazy wet, dry wet formula, friends. It's stunning. And this is a satin shade. It is matte but it's satin. So I won't wait any longer and I'm going to proceed with a makeup look. Hello, hello my friends. I'm here with half of this eye done. But I don't want to wait anymore and we're going to proceed to this makeup look because I have so much to share with you. In the statement I give in the beginning about the color of these shades are just incredible. So I'm going to start applying this color on the outer.
Again, as you can see, my friends, the shade is not blue. It's a deep plum with a black base. I'm going to proceed actually and apply this beautiful blue over here. I was mesmerized because this blue, as dark as it may see or may look on my arm, gives light to this initial shade and you will see why it complement into each other beautifully working in an even beautiful transition I'm going to grab into this beautiful lightest shade It is insane, friends. Your makeup doesn't have to be perfect, friends. You have two eyes, but not twins. And grabbing this flat dome brush, I'm going to proceed and apply the pigment, this foil metallic shade from the inner out, so it's no doubt, and that's it. Then the the work done with this palette was very well made on the inner with this beautiful tiny brush from Raffaire and it is the 23 high precision I'm going to apply that very pretty shade oh yeah yeah it is unbelievable friends unbelievable the performance of this palette can tell you this metallic shade is driving me just crazy I hope that you can observe what I'm observing I'm going to proceed and apply the 1.5 millimeter cold gel pencil on my waterline and I come back I'm back to this stunning I make up look I haven't done the what I did after all I didn't apply the black obsidian from hourglass because we always do black okay regardless so I was thinking since we are playing with plum kind of purplish shades and blue why not to do something similar on the waterline? So I proceed and I will show you my loves. Grabbing this shade, this retractable pencil from YSL in pure purple. You see how I'm giving dimension to the eye little by little. In this process, you really need to be patient, okay? And on top, look what I did. very close to the lash line I start building this beautiful shade which is a purple and I go on top with this kind of navy blue mimicking the shades I'm been working with okay so this is what we have a transition between purple and blue and now with my refer 
brush number 23 this one I'm going to grab in both shades okay and I go on top of this line I'm just making and diffusing upwards so instead of doing all the time black you know okay, at times can be a little boring and now applying the first like a plum shade or purple shade from YSL on the lower outer I love this brand but I have to admit that the formulation is super dry And now I push all of this toward my outer so that way I don't have a gap on this right corner that sometimes can be really stubborn. Now with the same brush I clean it on my fiber cloth I come to this stunning metallic shade. It's a full shade I come in the center just like that Using mascara um, waterproof lengthening and volumizer from YSL is the very last one that they launch friends if you complain because the palette was too dark look at this finish just combining like a, I mentioned in the in the beginning starting with this black base plum purplish shade this shade actually give it the dimension to my eye and this blue bring into life this shade oh my Definitely John Ford know what he's doing. In love with the performance of every single product I demo today. A complete makeup look done with iconic smoke from John Ford. I think the palette is just stunning. So Every single color work into each other. Amazing. I couldn't be more excited, friends. And from my support, since you know me, I love sassiness. I'm going to apply a tiny little bit of my nude opal from Pat McGrath. Like I'm saying, just to give a little sassiness. Isn't this chase so beautiful, friends? Okay. Now for my lips, I have this gorgeous collection. Look at this stunning shade from Tom Four. Oops, and they are called Gloss Looks Brilliant. I did invest in this chase friends and I don't regret it they are highly 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 stunning the gloss that you can apply on this product is going to last you many hours it's not a sticky the moist it gives to my lips is I wish my lips are all day long like this but let me explain to you something. I did apply on my lips in the buff. Is this beautiful shade? 
is what I have here on my lips. And I did contour with Pat McGrath. The name of the lip liner, it is called Contours. I'm going to be listing every single other product I use today for this stunning makeup look. If you have the chance, meanwhile, these shades are available, friends. Get some of these glasses. They are beautifully pigmented, okay? And I was debating between the shade in the buff, which is this, and in a vision. Let me show you. Is this cool tone rose, like a mauve? It's not orange, it's not coral. It's like a soft mauve, pink mauve. But in the buff, in the buff, I'm sorry, in the buff, the shade is more abstract. And this is Pat McGrath, the Perma Gel lip liner. I use to lip line my lips. It's a very soft color, long wearing. Since I did apply the gloss looks from Tom Ford, it's been a good one hour. And I keep looking at myself on the corners and the bottom is no bleeding at all. So, contour from Pat McGrath. The best, one of the best investments I could do for this beautiful winter that we still live in. Today is freezing, friends. My dear friend, since I'm here with the only purpose to demo, to show, to help you, if it is the case and you want to invest in this, in this last two palette from Tom Ford, I'm going to do everything I can for you to understand this palette. Okay, this is the makeup look. I really explain the base of each of these shades. So this is the dirty neutral cool. I am a true light. I'm not intermediate. I am a true light shade. The color in the beginning look like a little darker for my complexion, but once the product set, it was just a stun. Okay? So this is from Christian Louboutin. Please, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, like and comment. I really appreciate that because this channel doesn't have any sponsors. So everything that I bring to the table, I buy it. And I kindly invite you, please, if you are finding my channel with you, just know that I am a professional makeup artist. I used to be a bodybuilder. I am a weightlifter right now, formal a weight lifter and um and i am pro health pro eating healthy drinking plenty of water so you can maintain the integrity of your skin and stopping you know the process of aging and uh, subscribe please my videos are from 4k using 70 percent of natural light 30% of artificial light. So for you to be able to appreciate the final, you know, touch of this tutorial. Thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you very much for allowing me a precious time with you. Thank you for um, tuning to my channel. Thank you for my subscribers. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you individually thank you for interacting with me the one and does all the time i wish you nothing but blessings be careful stay safe please and i love you all another beautiful makeup look with this stunning texan because he is from austin designer as it is don't for is 
innovative, sophisticated. He's the symbol of sophistication, friends. Nobody can do something like this. So crazy. Mm -hmm. More surprises are coming, so stay tuned with me. Thank you. I'm going to take some picture so you can see this beautiful makeup look and all, and all of the product I did use to create it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I love you. Bye.